Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Indusoft video training series. Uh, we've had a request recently on our blog uh, to demonstrate how to interact with a .NET control that we've dropped on the screen. I'm going to show you how to do that today a couple of different ways. Uh, to start out with, I have a slider that I've placed on the screen that uh, just talks to integer tag uh, v1. And uh, I have a data display on the screen that's going to show you the value of v1. Now what I'm going to do is go here to the libraries group and place a .NET control on the screen. Now I have happened to preload this so it uh, took uh, just a short amount of time, but depending on where your uh, uh, setup is or how your, your PC is set up, this may take a little bit of time to load. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to the .NET control called progress bar, and I believe that's installed in, in most Windows uh, installs. Uh, you'll recognize it when we see it on the screen, but I'm going to highlight progress bar and click on OK. And that's going to put this little bar here on the screen, and I'm going to expand it just so we've got a little bit of visibility. Now, I'm going to double click on this, and notice that the name of this is progress bar 1 with no spaces. That's the name that we're going to reference a little bit later on, but just notice there. You can change that, but I believe that has to be unique uh, for every object that you place on the screen. So, for example, if you place another progress bar, you should name that progress bar 2. Uh, you can even simplify this as just PB1 and PB2 if you wanted to, but for sake of this demo, I'm just going to keep it as progress bar 1. Um, I'm going to go in here into members, and notice you have access to properties, methods, and events. Now each of those are a little bit different, but for properties, uh, to change the value of this, I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom, and notice that the property called value can have a tag or an expression in this, and in here I'm just going to use our tag v1. Uh, notice also that this is set for get and set and to scan always. Um, I'm going to click here on OK and save that screen and run the project. Now at this point you're going to be able to see the progress bar is at 0%. And as I scroll this, Windows handles taking on that .NET control and getting the value from the tag v1 into that property. I'm going to switch back here real quick to the development environment. I'm going to go back into that properties and delete that tag and show you a different way to get access to that. Notice that this property is called value. And once again, that this name of this .NET control is called progress bar. Another way to do this, now that I have uh, the, the value in V1, I'm going to right-click on the screen and open up the screen script. Now, this may not be the most efficient way to do it, but it'll show you how it can be done. Here in the script, I'm going to reference a command called xset. Now, what is xset? I'm going to go in here to the help and show you that under .NET control functions, there's a command called xset. When I open this up, it's going to show you that it, uh, the format of that is in parentheses, a string name of the object, that's going to be that progress bar 1, comma, the property's name, in that case it's going to be value, and then the actual value we're going to put in there, that's going to be the tag name. If you scroll down to the bottom, there's also uh, an example of how to use that. So let's see exactly how to do that. Since I'm in VB script uh, here, I need a dollar sign in front of the command called x set and you can see the IntelliSense is bringing up here that it's X set and then I need two parentheses to wrap around that you can see also that the IntelliSense was telling me that there's the string name the property name and the value so what is the name of this the object It's progress bar one uh, with quotes around it then I need the the property name which is value with quotes around it and then I need the tag name v1 and, uh, because it's a an Indusoft tag that's outside of the VB script space we need a dollar sign in front of it v1 and then close parenthesis now what's going to happen here is the slider is going to slide up and down this screen script uh, while the screen is open is going to be issuing this xset command and sending that to the progress bar 1 value property, the tag v1 value. So let's see if that works here. We're going to save this. Uh, we're going to save our screen. Now we can run this. And now you can see 
that it's still working properly even though I've removed the uh, tag from within the property and I'm writing to it using a script. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at info at We'd be happy to hear from you. Thanks.